It's really here for Raymond, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Raven is the most amazing animal on the face of the earth, and I'll prove it to you. Raven, how much is two and two? Wonderful, Raven, wonderful. Nelson, are you back there? Would you come out and join me, please? I'm going to further amaze all of you. This is Raven, Ozzie and Harriet. Now, Raven, how much is four from eight? Watch this animal. Marvelous, Raven, marvelous. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? It's amazing, truly amazing. Now, how much is 16 divided by four, Raven? Boy, one more, one more. <laughs> now, how many people, Raven, in the Nelson family? Marvelous. Marvelous. Now, how many of the Nelson family are with us today, Raven? How many? Are you flipping your lid, Raven? <laughs> Would you like to try again? Let me see what you got going here. Take that fool thing off, Raven. Take it off. I got to tell you that um, <laughs> the, uh, Rick and David came in to surprise their mother and father. And, uh, as I told you before, our facilities, we do not have the Empire State <laughs> Building here, folks. <laughs> to put it only lightly, we have offices that look like broom closets, and we had to hide these two and, well, and, let and, me and, and get Ozzie and Harriet upstairs, them downstairs to rehearse, and back upstairs, and them downstairs. Oh, what a morning it was. Well, I'm a nervous what, wreck what from this. I, can't, I, I had no, absolutely no inkling, whatever. You could have, I'm so, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me one thing, how did you guys decide which one was going to be the horse's head? <laughs> <laughs> Ricky can answer that. <laughs> no, yeah, that came about, you know, with the, the addition thing there, I had a little trouble in school, oh, so no. I gave it to Dave. <laughs> but Dave, you take it, I'm pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I think it's Dave. Uh, you know, uh, Rick, early in the week, you talked to your dad about the, uh, well, we've talked about everything from the mod clothes in England up to the long hair and, and what have you. And uh, he said that he'd always kept his hair close cropped, except for one time you found a picture. You know, he'd always yeah. told you to get a haircut, but one time you wanted your hair a little long. And uh -huh. So I want to show you something that we found of your dad. And you can get even right here and now, Dave. <laughs> or, or Rick, and both of you, oh. in Look at oh, Ozzy. Yeah. Look at the hair on Ozzy here, folks. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. That sort of even oh. things up, fellas. <laughs> huh? I think, uh, I think he, he beat me on that. And here's, uh, here, here's your mom and dad. Uh, this is uh, back in 1937. Isn't that great? That's great. Thank you for You have to measure that. You know. That's right. Uh, we've been talking to your mom and dad all week about whether or not they've had any problems or they ever had any problems when you fellas were young. Have you ever had any problems with your parents? Have. Uh, sure they do. Other, other than forcing <laughs> us into show business. I <laughs> <laughs> Did they have to force you into show business? Or? No, actually it was started with the radio show and Rick and I were the ones who uh, you know, kicked them in the shins enough times till they let us go on a preview. That yeah. was on radio. Yeah. That's how we busted in. Because neither actually, if you don't mind my saying so, and I think this is what the major sh show so delightful, you're all soft-spoken and you're so unlike uh, the people you're used to seeing on television. It's, it's so refreshing. I think that's why America took you to their hearts as they did, is because you're just, and believe me, off camera, they're just this way. And, and I want to tell you, uh, people are always saying to your parents, aren't you proud of David and Rick? I'd like to say to you, aren't you proud of your mom and dad? Because they're sure they are. are. <laughs> <laughs> playing a fiddle because I'm about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Mike, this has really been a, a, a wonderful week. We've enjoyed it so much. And, and I think one of the segments that we've enjoyed the most of all
in that uh, part where you send up uh, questions from the audience. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I think the, the question that's uh, asked most often is, uh, and I'm sure people ask the same thing of you, and that is, doesn't kind of bug you a little bit, doesn't kind of disturb you when you walk into a restaurant or wherever you go that people come up and say hello and recognize you. But I don't know how you no, feel about it. I, love I it. think that's one of the greatest payoffs in this business, don't you? That's right, because you, that you feel like you have a lot of friends and it, and it gives you, I think it makes you feel great if they don't come and say hello, you're, you, you get worried. Oh, I, I know, I, uh, uh, I know uh, the other day when Vice President Humphrey came in, uh, I don't know about you, but when he came in and said, hello, Mike, hello, Harriet, hello, Ozzy, I got a big kick. That's a big thrill. <laughs> Do people ever mistake you for someone else? No, but you know, it's, it's speaking of that reminds me of a real cute story. When I made the first picture that I ever made, which was back in 1935, it was Follow the Fleet with, Astar with Rogers and Astaire. And as you know, they were the biggest thing in pictures. Nothing was bigger all over the world. They so were number Astaire's one. Into Rogers, yes. And they ran neck and neck with Clark Gable, you know, it was For pretty popularity. big too. Uh -huh. And Ginger and I were staying in the lobby of a theater one night. And she said to me, we'd finished work, we'd gone to the movies, and we were staying in the lobby, and she said to me, don't look now, but there's Clark Gable behind us. And uh, I said, oh, oh, yeah. I said, aren't you going to say hello? She said, oh, no. She said, I never met him. I don't know him. Really? Yeah. <laughs> She's acting just like uh, an average person. Well, I, th I think that uh, celebrities, for lack of a better word, are the biggest fans uh, of anybody. Would you mind me speaking of... Oh, hey, of listen. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you know, it took you boys to big mother out. <laughs> <laughs> She's really coming on now. Hey, <laughs> we fight like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you but can you see now why we're very good listeners. <laughs> 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 no, this, this is funny, Mike. The other day, uh, he won. I, uh, about a, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> all first time, I, I, I was walking down Ricky the beach. Ricky said, "All kidding aside, folks." <laughs> <laughs> I was walking down the beach, and a little boy came up to me, and he said, "Hey, I know you. You're Ozzy and Harriet." <laughs> Harriet, tell us a story about the little girl coming to the door. Oh, oh, all right. We, we were living down Hermosa Beach, and, and our kitchen had a Dutch door. You know, the top opens and the bottom stays closed. And I was getting breakfast, and I heard a knock on the door. And I went over, and I looked, and looked around. Nothing. Oh, the top end? Top end. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The bottom was closed. And I went back to what I was doing, and there was another knock. And I went over, and I looked out. And all of a sudden, I looked down. And there was a little thing standing down there. She was about so high. And she had on a bikini about that big and her mother's high heel shoes. <laughs> and she looked up at me and she said, can Ozzy come out and play? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go out? Oh, Did you go sure. out and play? Oh, yeah. He came in and sat with him, but he said after he got past talking about how was nursery school, they'd had it. Yeah, the, the conversation <laughs> the kind of stalled. That's uh, right. <laughs> We're going back ever since, but you can't find her. Yeah. <laughs> That girl today is 36 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fellows, uh, have you always gotten along well, you and, and David? Rick? Well, For the yeah. most part, yeah. right. I've taken a, put a couple of pot shots at him now and then. You know, <laughs> have, you? Will. have you? Oh, yeah. Shot me with a BB gun a couple yeah, right. times. Oh, yeah, he's a Shot you with a BB gun? <laughs> yeah. Show him a scar, Rick. Yeah, he's yeah, he, he, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right between, between the eyes. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were... <laughs> You were really playing for keeps, weren't you, Dave? <laughs> How did that happen? Why did you shoot him? I have no idea. I can't remember. <laughs> I have no I, idea. I remember. It was one of the early radio shows, and Rick got a couple more laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> were you always on the receiving end, Rick, or did you ever deliver any messages? You know, I, uh, <laughs> I got you a couple times. Right? <laughs> right. Pretty good. And then ran in the house. Yeah. Where, uh, it was like uh, uh, no hitting above the shoulders, you know, no hitting in the head. There was just... Uh, an area in there you're allowed to punch it with boxing gloves. And uh, invariably, because I had the longer reach, he'd get frustrated and start swinging for the head. You know? <laughs> that was all right as long as I could hold him off, but it, he'd connect every once in a while, you know? And it's just about all you can do. So that's why you just start taking a little tougher jab. You know? <laughs> I'm three and a half years older than he is, so I'd push him a couple of times, but uh, then the screaming would start, and then I'd get it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Always the older brother. Yeah, what did you do to little Ricky, for heaven's <laughs> sake? To pick on some I was the younger brother, so I know what, what I know the scene. I, I just have to raise my voice. My mother came in and said, what did you do to him? What did you do? <laughs> what did you do to my baby? Yeah. You know, you, know, you yeah. sort of had to run up behind him, hit him from behind, and run in the house. You know. <laughs> Twice as bad, because he had asthma when he was young. So oh, that's well. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> you know, we showed some film clips from uh, some of your earlier shows. 
And when you were young, you had a voice like my Randolph Bigelow. Mickey, <laughs> yeah, right. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. We're going to show some of those clips right now, if you'll forgive us, please. Oh. And don't get angry, fellas, because I'm surrounded here. Roll it, Annie. Please. Your father's a very nice man. Yeah, Pop's a slow guy. <laughs> Your mother's a very nice woman. Yeah, Mom's slow, too. Do you have anybody else in your family? Oh, yeah, I have a dog and a little brother. <laughs> What's his name? Chief. Your brother's name is Chief? No, <laughs> that's the dog's name. My brother's name is Ricky. Oh. Well, you certainly have a lovely home. Thanks. I guess you're wondering why I came over. Yeah, I was. Well, some of the girls decide to have a dance next Saturday. A dance? Yes, do you like dancing? Well, I really don't do very much of it. Uh, we're going to do the Charleston. That's a new dance step. Oh, yeah, they do it in all the movies on television. Hi. Who's this? My little brother, Ricky. Hello, Ricky. I'm Nancy Baker. Would you like to see me tap dance? Just don't pay any attention to him. Oh, I think he's cute. He's not. I am, too. <laughs> Are you really tap dance, Ricky? Sure. I can sing, too. Really? You have to come over and listen to me sing in the bathtub sometime. Hey, Ricky, Mom's calling you. I don't hear. Hey, Mom. Yes, David? Would you call Ricky, please? Yes, <laughs> Ricky, come help your father help me squeeze the lemon. What for? For about 15 minutes. Come on, now. I'll be back a little later, Nick. Your little brother is very nice. Nice of you to say so. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You certainly have a lovely home. Thanks. Uh, we're each supposed to ask a boy. What's this? To the dance next Saturday. Oh. Don't you think dancing's a lot of fun? Oh, dancing's all right, but I like football better. Football's all right, but I like dancing better. All the guys like football. I'm a girl. Yeah, I guess you are. I imagine you'd be very good. Well, I need a lot of practice on my passing. I mean, you'd be a very good dancer. Oh, thanks. Hello. Oh, hello, Ricky. Ricky? Well, goodbye. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, well. You certainly have a lovely home. Thanks. Yes, we're each supposed to ask a boy. You asked anyone yet? Not yet. Oh. Were you going to say something? Go ahead. You certainly have a lovely home here. <laughs>